بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونتوب إليه ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئة عمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله شهادة ندخرها يوم لقاء وأصلي وأسلم وأبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه الغر الميمين وبعد السلام عليكم جي برادرز and respected elders and dear sisters thank you so much for having me here today I'm not good speaker I'm not sheikh with the, my great respect to my brothers might be sheikh probably in age but in knowledge I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me some knowledge. Mashallah, I can see when I look at brothers, mashallah, with nur, you know, I feel a little bit, you know, scared and fear to speak, you know, because many of you who probably need this or deserve this chair better than me. Only I have a little bit of experience to share with my dear brothers. Um, again, I'm not uh, um, a student of knowledge, nor sheikh, only I have some experience, like my brother mentioned, about the jinn and the ruqya exorcism, uh, the exorcism in Islam. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, we all believe in jinn. We all believe in magic. And we all believe in the evil eye. A jinn, like al ins, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala created them. And he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran al Karim, Oma khalaqtu al jinn wal insa illa li abudun. Allah created the ins like us, and the jinn for a purpose is to the purpose is to worship Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. And the jinn, they are like us. The tribes, um, Muslims, non-Muslims, Christian, Jew, atheist, the same. They have a court, court justice, they have business, they have everything what we have. They have smart jinn, stupid jinn, internet business you have all this you might love my brother but inshallah later on when i tell you some story you will be very very surprised they can deceive doctors they can deceive lawyers they can deceive paramedic they do all tricks but alhamdulillah sometimes when you deal with the jinn when you say to them who created you and you squeeze them, who created you? They will tell you, Allah created us. Huh? And subhanAllah is like, like, uh, like us. But when you call them to Islam, mashallah, sometimes they respond and they embrace Islam in, mashallah, very few minutes. So, now, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this jinn and the purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to live in their world. Sometimes we, the ins, we both are the jinn, we go, we go to their world. Either we ask them to support us or we ask them to cause problem to our wives, or husband, or brother, or sister. If I disagree with you in the business, I don't like to do business with you, or you don't like to do business with me. If I am weak in Iman, if I don't fear Allah, wa ta'ala, most of the time, because of heedlessness, because people are away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't deal with the, with the things which 
make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upset and he's messenger. If I disagree with my brother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran, when ikhtalaftum fi shay'in, farudduhu ila Allah wa rasulih. If you disagree about something, take it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the kitab al-Quran. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not with us now. Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it, it's with us and we remain at the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until the day of judgment. And by the way, my brother, Sunnah now is going down and Bid'a rising up. So inshallah, my brother, when, when, when you hear somebody talking to you about Sunnah and do this, this is from the Sunnah, and inshallah, please don't get annoyed, especially respected elders, inshallah. Um, because if we lose the Sunnah, a Bid'a open, and if we follow the bid'ah, that's what the shaitan like, and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger dislike. So, coming back to the, 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 the subject, that people go to magicians to ask the magician to harm the somebody who we dislike. And now this is common, uh, the, the, the problem with a jinn and magic and evil eye. Um, if we ask ourselves probably, each one of us, he has this problem either with him or with his family. Either the magic or the evil eye or the jinn possession. We ask ourselves, how can the jinn possess us? We do namaz, we do five times prayer, yet why we have evil eye, why we have jinn, why we have magic? Yes, my brother, even you do five times a day prayer. If you delay your prayer, the shaitan Yatarabbas, a shaitan, his job is to wait the opportunity to penetrate in our body. When we say shaitan, there is a jinn and there is a shaitan. Every shaitan is jinn and not every jinn shaitan. The jinn is ordinary jinn, but when the jinn goes away from the guidance of Allah, he becomes shaitan. Because there is a jinn Muslim, and there is a jinn Kafir, and there is a jinn who doesn't have no religion. So the one who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like Iblis, Ali Lanatullah, Shaitan. So if we move away from the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we forget to do Salat on time, if we get upset, the jinn can enter the body. Remember the Prophet Sallallahu once somebody come to him, he said, Ya Rasulullah, uh, advise me. He said to him, La taghdab, don't get angry. He asked him again, he said, La taghdab, don't get angry. The third time he said, La taghdab, don't get angry. Because when you get angry, you open your body to the shaitan, to the jinn to penetrate in your body. The jinn from fire, you can turn the fire off by wudu. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, La taghdab, la taghdab. If you are angry, sit down. If you're still angry, lean on your right side. If you're still angry, have a wudu, inshallah, and prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make two rakah, alhamdulillah, you become normal. And, and like I said to you, remember my brother, all of us, when we get angry, we become red. Our blood boil. And the Prophet sallallahu he said, إِنَّمَا الشَّيْطَانُ يَجْرِي مَجْرَ الدَّمِ فِي الْعُرُوقِ Shaitan run in our 
body like the blood run in our vein. Um, um, so from, from the evil eye also, we open the door for the jinn to enter. When you look at your brother or sister to sister, somebody, sometimes even in your body, you say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. When you say this word, you close the door for jinn and shaitan not to penetrate in your body. Or in your brother, you see your brother, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, well built, say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. When you say this, inshallah, the, the, the jinn cannot penetrate in the body. You might tell me, my brother, how can the jinn enter? The, the, the person who is hasid, who is envaya, the one who envy people, when, when he look at somebody, he or she never mention mashallah tabarakallah because they have hasid in their heart and kullu hasid each one who's hasid this is the hasid person always behind the hasid there is shayateen when this person look is not necessary this person knows that there is behind him shayateen they automatically follow this person because uh, the nafs his soul is dirty and the first one who was ever hasid is Iblis Iblis he was a jealous of Adam السلام. he is the first one who created the evil eye the first one who, who uh, become veil when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose Adam alayhi um, salam and created Adam from clay and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask malaika to prostrate to Adam all malaika did prostrate only Iblis refused because he was arrogant and he was jealous Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, why you don't prostrate? He said, because him is from clay and I'm from smokeless fire. So the first one who started this jealousy and hatred, Iblis. <coughs> so anybody who is jealous, who has envy in his heart, he Iblis love that person and he supply him with the jinn. So when this person look at things like your house or your car or, or, or your children, imagine or maybe you notice most of the time when you go to wedding, you, your children, inshallah, when Alhamdulillah, they are well dressed, uh, well mannered, well looked. You will find people who, you will find some jealous people. Ah, look his children, look her daughters. Why they are like this? Why not my children? Some of them they say, Mashallah, Tabarakallah. Some of them, oh, why not me? Why they have? Why not me? So you come in the evening, very uh, ill, sometimes people even collapse, sometimes people even they, 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 even they don't uh, come back home, they start getting ill even in the wedding place so the, if the evil eye is too strong you might find people, even people collapse, people go to hospital because of the, of the evil eye also we have Mosiba, the big one is the magic. You know, before, before talking about magic, even in, 
in the, the time of the Prophet وسلم, and the Sahaba al Kiram, some of them harm one um, Amr a Sahabi. He looked at uh, Sahel <coughs> and this Sahabi, he took his uh, kameez or, uh, and he was having shower. The other Sahabi, he looked at him and he said, wow, what a skin. I've never seen the skin like this before. He look like virgin skin. Subhanallah. Look, even he was Sahabi, and the other one was Sahabi. Yet the evil eye was his like arrow, and he went to the Sahabi and he collapsed. And then they took him to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ali Sallallahu Alaihi who you suspect? They told him, Amr, so and so. We suspect the, the other Sahabi who looked at him. That time the Sahaba, they don't know the evil eye and they don't know the effect of evil eye. Then the Prophet وسلم, he said to him, or in general, why you kill one another? Why you kill your brother? Why you kill one another? Ama barakta lahu. Why, when you looked at him, why you didn't say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah? If you did you know, say that, that the evil eye will <coughs> stop. Um, so if that happened in the time of the Prophet وسلم, and with the Sahaba Al-Kiram, how about with us? In Ni'ma is from Allah Tabarakatal. Allah our Razak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives a risk. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give this brother two BMW, huh? You know, you say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, may Allah give him third one. And Ya Allah, give me one. That is fair enough. But when you start inside, why him? Why not me? I've been in this country before him. 50 years. This guy, he came only last year. How come? Where did he get it from? And you start in your inside. It's like you are fighting Allah, Tabarakallah wa ta'ala. You interfere in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's affair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who choose to give this brother and not to give me. Maybe it's not good for me to have cars. I will be a doji person. That Allah subhanahu wa loved me, he didn't want to give me. Asa an takrahu shay'an wa huwa khayrun lakum. Wa asa an tuhibbu shay'an wa huwa sharrun lakum. Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lam. You might dislike something, but it's good for you. And you might like something, but it's not good for you. How many brothers, how many brothers miss their flight and then after uh, two hours three hours he was crying ah, i miss my flight why then probably he heard that that flight in that flight was blown up whatever allah ta'ala he is the one who divide and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's the one who give a risk so don't rush if you rush you crash let allah ta'ala هو الله سبحانه وتعالى is the one who divide. Huh? This is to do with evil eye and hasad and envy. We pray Allah تبارك وتعالى. إن شاء الله. I'm sure what I'm talking you know this already. But is just a reminder. ذكر فإن ذكرة تنفع المؤمنين. We know this the evil eye and this and that. But probably. Most of us, we don't know that the evil eye can bring the jinn to our body. body. Many sessions I did with my brothers and sisters, when the jinn speak, the jinn will tell me because of evil eye. You mind, inshallah, if Allah give us, inshallah, time, inshallah, and to see the clip, this guy is, mashallah, well built. So he enter, the, 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 the jinn enter his body, just because of his, what Allah gave him. He's well built, inshallah, and people um, give him the evil eye because what Allah gave him. So now, my dear brother, there is a big musibah is to do with jadu, with the magic.
<coughs> Again, magic is caused by hasad, by envy. Many families destroyed. When there is no iman, when there is no fear of Allah Ta'ala, we will harm each other. The brother can take the land of his brother with no right, without haq. I want you to marry my daughter, but you don't want to marry my daughter, I will punish you and you punish your daughter. Your daughter, she's not going to get married. I want your son to marry my daughter, but actually, I don't like your son. I don't like you. I like the passport. Uh, this is Musib, huh? Because they want to come from abroad because your daughter, she was born here, your son born here. MashaAllah, let's have a red, uh, it's like a you know, red carpet. So uh, that's the, the red carpet, Audu Billah, sometimes it will take to hell. So, so many um, uh, problems which you are facing regarding to the magic is because Hasid again, because you didn't want to get married to my daughter or you don't want to get married, you know, uh, 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 your son with my daughter, so I cause you a problem. Or because we did business and uh, you find me, I'm not a right person, I am a dodgy person, I'm not trustworthy. You tell me, Salaamu Alaikum, my brother. But I'm gangster, I don't fear Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. I go to peer or faqir or molwi, whatever, but that the one who does it not according to Quran and Sunnah. Um, you give them money and they will fix anything you want. But before that, we know that no matter what they plot, if Allah doesn't want that things to happen, it won't happen. They are not going to harm you only by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These magicians and all, they do the things, and mashallah, sometimes the magic turn against the, turn against the magician. But this is a fact, it's going on here and everywhere. And uh, you, will, you will see these people, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, put seal in their heart and their eyes. They go to the magician, and the magician, he doesn't care. The magician is his enemy of Allah. Remember all my brothers and sisters. For the person to be a magician, he must be kafir. He turned away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completely. And he gave a legend to the shaitan completely. Allah on one side and the shaitan, the, the magician will worship shaitan. He will do the th filthy things. The, as much as the magician go high in sin, as much as the shaitan bring him closer. And the, the jinn will never obey the magician. You know, sometimes they tell you, oh, this guy, he do things. This guy, this magician, he brings things, he does all that illusion. He can only harm. But how many magicians, we can see them in the street, they give you a piece of paper, I can fix you and I can solve the problem with the home office and this and that. Why you didn't solve your problem? And you distribute papers in the street. If you are very good, you would have been people queuing at you. And you see the miserable. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, وَلَا يُفْلِحُ السَّحِرُ حَيْثُ أَتَى Sahir will never ever be successful. You can see in their face there is no nur. If you go by accident, maybe you went, my brother, probably many of us when we have a problem, huh, we go to anybody. If they tell you, oh, that man is good, inshallah, you trust. You trust me, I will tell you, go to that person. But in the end of the day, you'll find that person is not doing that according to Quran and Sunnah. 
He will ask you what's your name, what's your mom's name, give me the birthday, uh, your uh, birthday. You know, why this man asks you for your mom? You have a problem. I have a problem. Why you ask me about my mom? Uh, you sort me out if you... But uh, that mom, why he doesn't ask you about your father? Huh? Because always, you know, the Muslim person, always we call him by his father. Abu Umar, Abu Muhammad, Abu Ismail. But the opposite, they call him with his mother because, because he doesn't have father. It's to do with haram. So the, 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 the like I said, the, the, the second musibah is to do with the magic. Um, before magic, again with the evil eye. The Prophet sallallahu said, أَغْلَبُ أُمَّتِي بَعْدَ الْقَضَى بَعْدْ قَدَرَ اللَّهِ تَمُوتُ بِالْعِينِ Most of my ummah, after Allah decree, they will die by the evil eye. And the Prophet ﷺ was passing by the grave, the graveyard, and he said, <coughs> half of the people who are here, or most of people who are here, because of the evil eye, and because of the jinn and shayateen. We have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, with whom we deal with. Um, again, the, the, the magic, which is, which is common among our community. <coughs> and uh, Alhamdulillah, may, maybe some of you have uh, experienced this problem with the magic. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us inshallah. And also um, the, the jinn. Like I said earlier, we might ask ourselves, how can the jinn enter our body? If we are away from the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if there is no ibadah, if there is no dhikr, and remember the Prophet ﷺ, he said, وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا مِن بُيُوتِكُمْ مَقَابِرُ Don't make your house as a graveyard. MashaAllah, when you come to masjid, do salat, inshallah, salat al-jama'ah, then you go home and do sunnah. When <coughs> there is a sunnah, there is a prayer inside the, the, the house, when there is adhan, inshallah, surat al-Baqarah, الشيطان لا يدخل بيت تقرا فيه سورة البقرة. Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said the house which سورة البقرة read شيطان cannot stay there. And the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said at least once in three days leave سورة البقرة play in your house. And also inshallah when you come home inshallah before you enter بسم الله توكلت على الله بسم الله ولجنا على ربنا توك Bismillah, I enter my house. You don't need to be expert. You don't need to be alim. Bismillah, tawakkil to Allah. When you say Bismillah, you smack the shaitan. You smack him in his face. Stay there. But if you forget, you don't say, if you don't say Bismillah, shaitan said, now we succeed. We enter the house. And then inshallah, when you are going to eat, Bismillah. So if you say Bismillah, a shaitan, inshallah, is not going to eat. Before you go to sleep, have a wudu, inshallah. Sit, inshallah, on your bed. Open your hand, your, uh, your, your palm, inshallah. Read Al-Fatiha, Ayat Al-Kursi, if you know. Um, three quls, Al-Ikhlas al muawidatan rub on your body, sleep on the right inshallah, and by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will sleep like a baby. Because when you have wudu inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send a malak to protect you. That malak is because of the wudu. Huh? Allah will protect you. How many of us have anxiety, maybe depression, uh, what they call that, sleep or resistance? Now that's, people cannot sleep. Jazakallah khair. So why? Because we are busy in our life with the dunya, dunya, dunya. When we come home, 
probably we don't have a time to do wudu. We don't have a time to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, uh, uh, um, the, the, Allah, the one who remember Allah and the one who doesn't remember Allah is like the dead and the living person. So the one who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will be alive. So the jinn cannot penetrate, cannot approach them. Umar radiallahu anhu wa arda, when he used to walk, the shaitan ran away. The shaitan changed direction. Huh? Why? Because Umar radiallahu anhu wa arda, he has a nur. Nur al rabbani nor, 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 nor of an iman is the true iman. Um, sorry, my brother is not like nor which some of the Sufis they think uh, you uh, do dhikr, dhikr, Allah, Allah, then and from your chest will come nor. This is not laser. Uh, no. So, w- you know, worship Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, a'bud rabbaka hatayatik liyaqeen. Some of the Sufi, may Allah guide them, inshallah, they, they do some ibadah and then they said, khalas. We cannot do, we, is enough, you become uh, high grade, you don't need to do ibadah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, worship Allah until when you die. You don't stop, there is no holy day, there is until when you die. Um, so, to protect ourselves, inshallah, from to be harmed either by the evil eye or by magic or by the jinn, Alhamdulillah, we know what to do. Like I mentioned earlier, inshallah, um, like the Prophet he said, La tij'alu min buyutikum maqabar. Don't make your house as a graveyard. <coughs> MashaAllah, tabarakallah. My brothers, uh, now, when we have a problem, most of, not most of us, the one who is desperate, uh, you, you do whatever, like somebody was crying the day before yesterday. You know, when we don't have yaqeen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we are so desperate, but our iman is vibrating. You will talk to anybody and shaitan beautify that person. The person was talking to me and he said, I beg you. I said, Ya Khil Aziz, my dear brother, don't beg me, beg Allah wa ta'ala. He said, I don't, I don't mean this. But I said, calm down, tell me my brother, for the sake of Allah, help my daughter. He said, I want to everybody, anybody, but you are the last one. I said, why you said the last one? Huh? Alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's, he's, the brother might be, he's, he's, how, how far he's? He's, he threw. Um, this brother, he was desperate and he was crying. And I cannot, I couldn't see him because I have too many people who are before him. If I call him, which means I will be not just because there is people the same in his situation. But, you know, when sometimes people like this man, I fear they might do something shirk or they might fall on a big uh, shirk. I said to him, my brother, let me do something. And I ask Allah, I beg Allah to make you know, this work be successful. I said to him, do you have a Skype? He said, yes. I said, okay, inshallah, this is my, my Skype email. But don't ask me later, my brother. I said, okay, my brother, I am going, inshallah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do this. I've done it a few times. Success was by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I start, I start reading, and this lady, her eyes 
turn like this and like this. And she was she has a genie for man, she possessed her. And she was doing like this to her hair. So the, the father, he was scared. He didn't know what to do. He said, please, my brother, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you have a daughter. And put your, yourself in my shoes. So, alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, I was reading, and the jinn female responded. She spoke a few words. Then he, they said to me, she ran upstairs. She went to the bedroom. So Alhamdulillah, I said to him, my brother, Alhamdulillah, inshallah, um, this is what you have to do. Do this. Give her water. Read on water like this. Any one of you, inshallah, they can do Rukia. Rukia al-Fatiha or or al-Mu'awidatan. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil fala. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas. Mashallah. Al-Fatiha, ayat al-Kursi. Mashallah. Al-Quran, kullu shifa. Al-Quran, all is shifa. Cure. If you have a niya, the intention proper, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes things work. Umar radiallahu anhu, he used to read Fatiha. So, inshallah, you can do it and have yaqeen. Have yaqeen, inshallah. And Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala uh, give, inshallah, uh, success. Alhamdulillah, the night was okay with that. Girl, and I told him, my brother, inshallah, I will give you another number and go. But please don't go to anybody, everybody. Now, like you go to somebody which you don't know, or they tell you that this man he does. Try before you go, inshallah, you are not going to pay tax or VAT. Do to Raka, inshallah, and ask Allah. Salat al Haja or al Istikhara. Ask Allah, Ya Allah, I'm going to this man. Oh Allah, if this man is doji, move me away from him and move him away from me. Ya Allah, show me the right direction. Allah, put in your heart that this person is good, this person is not good. Okay? Before you go, do Istikhara. Okay, if you are in a rush, at least ask, Does he do namaz? The one who is doji, you don't find them in the mosque. Rarely you find them in the mosque. They don't come and do prayer, jama'ah. And you all, most of the time, you see their style. When you see them, they look untidy. They don't look... Okay? So, in general, when you, most of the time, when you see them, you don't feel, you don't feel happy. Okay, some of them, they give you tawis. Maybe some of my brothers and respected olders, they might not agree with me when I start talking about Tawis. There is two types of Tawis. One is slightly permissible. The other one, and you like 90%, last time I said 90%, then they told me, give me the 10%, the one which is no good, something like that, mashallah. So, if you go to these people, most of the time they give you tawis and they tell you, don't open it. Huh? This is, I took it from the brothers. I don't give tawis, huh? By the way. Okay. You go to these people and they give you these tawis and they tell you, uh, don't open it. Why they tell you don't open it? Can you, my brother, you know, tell me, inshallah, this is Tawiz, yeah? Yeah, it's supposed to protect you, inshallah. Yeah? Let's see, it's supposed to protect because he gave it to us. Mr. X, he gave us this. Can you tell me what's inside, my brothers? Letter? Letter? Mashallah. Nothing? Jazakallah. You, my brother? Numbers, mashallah. Nearly that. Mashallah. Uh, no muswak. I wish that. This is muswak. I thought this uh, tooth. Tooth either of a tiger or a wolf. Because some 
some people think that the wolf, the jinn scared from the wolf. So they put this. Can you, for God's sake, can this cure you? Hada shirk. You forget Alhamdulillah, you forget La ilaha illa, La quwata illa billah, you put something like this. Okay? This is one. Somebody, I have one, is not here with me. You know this guy who, who does uh, Taweez, he ran out of paper, huh? And there is, there is Muslim calendar, you know this, the mosque they give calendar. Here there is, in Arabic, Eidun Sa'id, Happy New Year. Mecca, Medina. And this guy might be here, run out of paper. He did some, ta- is, is some writing, and he just rolled that piece of paper, and he put it in, in, in the one plastic like this. So now when the brothers and sisters come, and I ask them, please, do you have Tawiz? If they say, yes, can I open it? If it's good, mashal. If not, most of Tawiz, you don't find anything. You find scribble, like you said. You find, you find square, you find, you find the, 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 uh, in a, the, the, the Jewish star. Um, you find this was, Mashallah, there is a heart. Somebody said, my brother, I love my mom. I don't know whether something. I love my mom. And please, please, my brother, you know. He took all of them, was one here in his belly. And the next time he came and he was wearing this. And I said, oh, what is this, my brother? He said, oh, please, you know, this is from my mom. And my mom, she passed away. I said, okay, my brother, inshallah. Let's open it, inshallah. If there is something important, we will see, inshallah. When I open it, nothing. Can this cure us, my brothers? Um, I will tell you the last one, inshallah. There is plenty if you want, if we have later, inshallah, time. Um, I might show you them, inshallah. But, uh, uh, there is too many of them. One, there is, there is a nail, nail, one straight, and one bend. This, this one. This nail straight, and this one bend. Which means, this can bend your life. They put, they put nails in your house. Each nail will bring a jinn to your house. And when you go to these people, you go with one musiba and you come back with ten. So inshallah, my brother, you know, this is this is Tawiz. You can't do you can't you can't do it yourself, you don't need to go to anybody. Like I said to you earlier, if you can read Al Fatiha. Ayatul Kursi, three quls, tawakkal Allah, do it. Or if you want, you know, um, there is taweez, but you don't put it on your neck or under the pillow. Uh, somebody will write to you, or inshallah, if you can, mashallah, you do it yourself. Take a piece of wood like this, or a cane, uh, or, um, you know, tooth. Uh, to speak. And then, inshallah, take some water and saffron, saffron, huh? and put zimzum water, rose water, mix them all, read al Fatiha, read Ayat al Kursi, read the three quotes, and put that, the, the stick, and write Bismillah ar Rahman Rahim, Allahumma ashfi anta shafi. لا شفاء إلا شفاءك شفاء لا يغادر ساقما. Um, there is six six ayah of shifa. Inshallah, by the will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you can read this ayah of shifa and blow inside. Inshallah, either write this ayah six 
write them with, uh, uh, like I said, saffron and rose water, uh, and then put put also some some water like this rose water, um, rain water. If you find rose water, rain water, zim zim, and put the 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 things which you wrote, inshallah dilute them inside and drink by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will see inshallah if there is a magic inside by the will of Allah ta'ala it will come out if there is jinn inside by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the jinn will get irritated it will get affected by the the power of the Quran and there is also ajwa data the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said who he who start his day with seven date of ajwa he's not going to have sihr or praise on that day that is ajwa date uh, that is also two herbs senna leaves and that is lotus tree and also inshallah if if you inshallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you all but if it, ha- if it happened that you have magic also inshallah try to do a cupping cupping hijama uh, try to do cupping inshallah that also it will help you by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the cupping it will take the blood toxic blood and like I said earlier the the the, the, the jinn the shaitan run in our blood so to take that toxic blood by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the jinn inshallah and the sihr will come by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if it doesn't come you have to be patient huh? um, Ayyub alayhi salam 17 years he had the problem for 17 years and then Allah ta'ala he gave him shifa and he told him to drink from the cold water and have a shower with cold water and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him shifa Brother asked the question that um, well, if someone um, has a case of black magic and the person has been treated and is successful, what steps can the person take to permanently um, be protected from having black magic, uh, black magic uh, affect that person again? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <coughs> to be protected permanently, that's only by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, like I mentioned earlier, inshallah, the person to be protected by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, number one, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to see yourself or ourselves, how much we are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be in wudu, inshallah, all the time, to do your prayers, inshallah, if you are a man, inshallah, Come to mosque, mashallah, tabarakallah. If sister, inshallah, alhamdulillah, is better, inshallah, to do it in her house. To be in wudu, inshallah, to read, inshallah, salat, jama'ah, inshallah, in the mosque. Um, to read, to have a word of the Quran, like one page a day, or two pages a day, or three pages, it will be regular. Uh, um, to take the treatment, like olive oil, um, cedar leaves, you might find them outside inshallah to see how they look like inshallah. Um, Ajwa date, um, to fast inshallah Mondays and Thursdays if you can, mashallah tabarakallah, you can also um, fast 13, 14, 15 in the Muslim calendar. Um, if you have the magic inside you can do uh, cupping this hijama to protect yourself like I said to you inshallah be in wudu read surah al-baqarah if you can inshallah in daily basis if you cannot read it listen to it get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all this inshallah it will protect you by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. did I answer your question my brother uh, but yeah, that's the cure Following the Sunnah and commandments. Is, is there any something particular apart from this which you, as a Rukia person or as a professional, do uh, just to do something like to put the stop or? 
as like some people say they can uh, circle the person or uh, give something like this which uh, stops the jinn from coming near to the person uh, umar radiyallahu anhu how did he stop the jinn <laughs> with his iman barakallahu fik azizi jazakallahu khair umar radiyallahu anhu he was in circle he was in circle by malaika ha huh? والذاكرين الله والذاكرات الله تبارك وتعالى هي منشن the one who remember الله تعالى والله ما brother if you just remember الله تعالى make it habit while you are walking سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله ولا هو كبر keep your tongue إن شاء الله سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله هو كبر we automatically you will be protected with even you don't know have iman have ikhlas have yaqeen don't wait for peer sahab he put a circle if he put circle on you you will never come out of that circle you will that circle of hell your circle inshallah of iman to fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be in wudu shaitan cannot approach you um uh, in, for the magic not to enter your body like i mentioned to you and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said if you eat seven date ajwa you might not find ajwa you find it only in, in medina but inshallah you can if there is no ajwa inshallah you can eat date with the niyat that allah will protect you to read surah al-baqarah to read inshallah word every day inshallah you read manzil durud sharif Try to get Durud Sharif and Manzil in a proper way, inshallah. In a, uh, according to Sunnah, inshallah. The brother here, inshallah, they will direct you, or probably they already have here, inshallah. Inshallah, I hope I answer your question. Yeah. I'm take a written question, inshallah. Not, not no, question. But they are the new, newspaper. <laughs> no. The no question here. Yeah. Um, a question says that I know of a Muslim who, does, who claims he does Rukia. And he says he uses a good jinn to get him information about the people who are doing black magic, and the good jinn helps him guide them to get rid of the black magic. Please, can you tell me if this is possible, and could you explain briefly about the hukum regarding this issue, as this is very common amongst the Muslim community? Jazakumullah khair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And this man, what he give uh, to the jinn in return? There is, there is no such a good jinni or bad jinni or jinni mu'min. Jinni mu'min, you will find him in the mosque. He worship Allah wa ta'ala like you do. The jinn doesn't work free of charge. You will do something for jinn, the jinn in order to do something for you. You do qurbani, you do sacrifice, you prostrate to the... To the no one jinn my brother don't believe if anybody tell you the jinn the jinn will work with you then he will use you for the rest of your life the jinn doesn't work remember the jinn they have enmity between us and them the muslim one believe me my brother the muslim one he come and wake you up for fajr prayer the muslim one he come he take the, your blanket or whisper in your ears the jinn doesn't come and work. Who are you, Sulaiman Ali Salam? Only one, <laughs> only one who the jinn serve him is Sulaiman Ali. Remember, my dear brother, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He caught shaitan, and he tied the shaitan on the pillar, Jazakallah Khair, and the pillar, on the pillar in the mosque. And he remember the Prophet ﷺ grabbed the jinn on his neck until the saliva was coming in the hand of the Prophet ﷺ. And he, uh, the Prophet ﷺ remembered, oh, he said, if not a dua of my brother Sulaiman, I would have kept him until the morning, then the children, they will play with the, with the shaitan. But the Prophet ﷺ, MashaAllah, he remembers Sulaiman because Sulaiman he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give me mulk, a kingdom which nobody after me will have something. So the Prophet may respect his brother Sulaiman. So, my dear brother, please don't be fool. The, the jinn tried to drag you, tell peace, please. The jinn, the, the jinn tried to drag you slowly, slowly. 
All the ruqat, the one who does ruqya, they might, they might have experience. But the one who, inshallah, who fear Allah Ta'ala, uh, and the one who, uh, who want to work very hard, uh, the jinn will serve you without talking to you. Uh, he will not talk to you. He knows, inshallah, you fear Allah, you are doing good. The jinn, by the will of Allah Subhanahu he will help you without even you know that there is jinn surrounding you to help you. Jazakallah khair. A question saying that, we know that the Shia team, <coughs> they run away from um, Ayatul Kursi. Is there any benefit in hanging Ayatul Kursi in your house and does this protect the house from the Shia team? Even Ayatul Kursi, my brother, if you read Ayatul Kursi only when you have a problem, Ayatul Kursi is not Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, the b b product to, 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 to chase the uh, you know, flies. And Ayatul Kursi, if you read from your heart with yaqeen, Ayatul Kursi, or even you say, Ya Allah, the shaitan run. But some brothers and sisters, mashallah, sometimes they put Ayatul Kursi or Bismillah or Tawakkal to Allah. If you put that in order to remind you, when you look at the surah, you remember Allah. That inshallah, I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is good. You know, you are looking, clock, nine o'clock, no, oh, nine, maybe I have to go. So to, uh, to, to, to remind you, so Ayatul Kursi, when you look, oh, Bismillah. And while you are looking at Ayatul Kursi, you read it. So Alhamdulillah, that is a reminder. We are in ghafla, we are heedless. In that point, mashallah. But if you think you leave it there and you let the dust fall on it, and sometimes flies and this and that, it won't work for you. That should be on the wall, should be in your heart. Oh, Allah, 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 Jazakallah khair. I'll take a written question now. It says, Sheikh, right. what do you know about the Jathum, the Shayateen jinn who sit on your chest while you are asleep? Is jinn is shaitan. So how to get rid of it? You don't want, um, you know, you don't have to know what his name or Al Jathum means the one who, uh, like you mentioned, the one who sit on your chest. There is too many jinns, and, uh, but their job is to distract us, their job is to make us lazy, their job is to make us not to wake up for Fajr. So tell me how to get rid of it, this is a good question, and how they come. So how to get rid of it, I told you, my brother, my sister, inshallah, to be in wudu, before you read, before you sleep, inshallah, read the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Mulk if you can, huh? Inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you. Uh, the brother asked uh, two questions, he said the first question is that anyone, uh, the Shaykh said anyone can perform Ruqya um, as long as he has a, a good heart and so on and recites certain verses of the Quran, are there any side effects to the person performing Ruqya, will he be affected in any way or can he be affected in any way? And the second question the brother asked was, can, uh, is it possible to perform Ruqya on someone who is not present, for example, someone in another country and so on? Jazakallah khair. MashaAllah, good question, Jazakallah khair. Like I said, everybody can do Ruqya. Um, um, if somebody want to do Ruqya as a profession, or to he or she want to do it for for as long as it take that it will be another matter another answer another question if like you mashallah tabarakallah now you find your daughter your son and you don't wait for somebody or to come to go to that person to do ruqya yes by the will of allah and if from sunnah is better you do it for your wife or your wife, she does it for you, or among the family. If you don't know, or if you cannot, whatever, <clears throat> then somebody else can do it for you. Um, like I said, again, anybody can do Ruqya. The side effect, Alhamdulillah, there is no side effect, you know, in terms like, like you are taking medicine. The side effect, if this, this person 
who want to do ruqya for long term. You are my brother, you are going to enter a battle, battlefield full of mine. Huh? So you have to be ready, you have to be prepared. You are going to deal with the jinn, enemy invisible. You are going to declare war against them. So don't expect they give you flower. <laughs> Mashallah. So if you enter that world, inshallah, get as much as you can get close to Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala. Um, you don't need vitamin B or C. You need inshallah Al Quran, Qiyamul Lain, Tahajjud, Siyam, and beg Allah, Ya Allah, I am going to enter this world. Ya Allah, protect me. Otherwise, you will have side effect, big one. And the other one, my brother, somebody in Pakistan or Algeria or India, whatever, Canada, you can do if there is a Skype. So you can't see the brother, like me, I can't read on you. But it's not going to be effective as you are, you are, if you are, if you are with me, I put either my hand on your head, mashallah, or you are lying down and I put my hand on your chest. Sometimes I slap you gently because you are my brother. So, but if he's the brother, I'm doing ruqya on him in Canada, whatever. It will work by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's see, 10%, 15%. I tried it, but my brother, you, do, you know, if you try it, and then there is 10 jinn in the body, and the jinn cover. And they start, you know, like, uh, they try to, uh, the, 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 the brother or sister, they start rolling up or jumping up and down. So what, what we are going to do later? So you can maybe just just read but if the problem is big just is better inshallah not to carry on and the brother inshallah well alhamdulillah by the will of Allah everywhere there is there is mu'minin inshallah inshallah did I answer your question my brother um, yes almost half of it because I perform it two or three different people with my friends okay and uh, the problem is when you started uh, reading uh, ayah yes and then calm down. Yes. So we don't know what to do afterwards. Uh -huh. So you are doing it for your friend? Just friend. Uh, when, by accident, it's happened with two or three different friends. And as you show in your video, start vomiting, change their uh, voice. So I start reading Surah Bakara and uh, Ayatul Kursi. And Alhamdulillah, it was removed. But I, I wasn't uh, aware that is there anything I have to do afterwards. You do plenty of things, my brother. If I advise you, inshallah. If you want to be raqi, mashallah, tabarakallah. I will show you some technique. But my brother, remember, they are not going to be nice with you. You know, sometimes, mashallah, if I knew what I know now, I wouldn't do this. Huh? My head, my brother, is red with anxiety and depression. Huh? So, my brother, the jinn, they are not going to, they will attack you, they will attack your children, they attack. So, you have to be, inshallah, yani, get close to Allah, tabaraka wa ta'ala, and you get ready because a big battle. Like me, and I go and fight Tyson. Jazakallah. <laughs> Uncle <laughs> uh, asked the question that when a person is possessed of the jinn, will beating that person, will it affect the jinn or will it affect the person? Jazakallah, oh, sorry, jinn. No, no, no. I, that was my question. I, will it affect? No, no. Will it affect on jinn? When we beat the person, will it affect on jinn? Mashallah. I wish I understand that one. Well, a person possessed with the jinn. Yes. When you hit the person, does it hurt the jinn? My brother, Jazakallah. Very good question. And the other one is good question. The jinn crafty. Okay. There is jinn here, huh? There is jinn here, huh? I beat him. I do once. Because now the jinn, he can't see me, he can't see my hand. I'm going to beat him second time. Here, the jinn goes here. I will beat my brother. You have to be very clever. And the beating is not the solution. Sometimes you do it, so you tell the jinn, 
I am stronger than you or I can beat you. Don't bully me, I bully you. So he will. Uh, but the, the, the technique is to speak to them. Give them dawah. They are like a human. Wallahi, my brother, 90% of time, 80 to, to 90%, I don't use just talking to them. And they start crying and they embrace Islam. Um, did I answer question, uh, your question? Barakallah. What's that brother question from uh, Urdu one? No, no, he was just translating. Mali. Jazakallah. Translating. Yeah. The question here from a sister, um, I think, what's the ruling on having a black cat? One comes to my house, it has a cat owner, but comes to my house and sits when I have the Quran on. Someone told me that I shouldn't let the cat in, but it always comes to my house. I have three of the cats, and the black one, cat would rather be with me. So she has three cats and one come. Always when they put the Quran. <laughs> Wallahi, my brother, inshallah, take the thing serious. It's nice to smile sometimes. I am a joker, but sometimes, Wallahi, my brother, these things is, is, is dangerous. You can't talk. You know, when you deal with the jinn and you make a fun of them, they can make a fun of you. They can drive you crazy. And they, they don't like to make a mock with them. Wallahi, believe me, my brothers. Uh, my dear sister, maybe because, mashallah, tabarakallah, you are already generous. I have one cat, it drives me mad. You have three, mashallah. So this, this, this cat might be just inviting himself because you are nice. And maybe this cat, please don't, don't be uh, suspicious about the cat, the black one. Yes, if the dog is black and is the dog has two white mark on top of his eyes that's most likely is to be shaitan huh so the, the 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 black cat might be because there is already three cats and the, this black cat he comes because of the the other three cats and allah knows but okay don't scare you think he's if he's jinn when there is Quran, he ran away. But this guy is, is coming because he listened to Quran. Inshallah, don't worry. Inshallah. Is there, uh, the brother asked the question that is there a way to find out if someone has been affected with magic and so on? Mashallah, this brother clever. He, uh, his question is, everybody will ask this question. Um, the signs of, I will give you the signs, inshallah, for the, inshallah, evil eye, magic, and jinn. The, we start with evil eye. <coughs> with evil eye, the, the color of the, the face of people change, sometimes goes dark, sometimes goes pale. If the person is not ill, medically is not ill, and you find the face pale or dark, that's the signs of evil eye. If somebody finds it difficult to sleep during the night, and he or she feels sleepy during the day, that's another sign. When you sleep and you sweat from the front head, your back, your hand, your feet, that's the sign of the evil eye. When you feel bored, hopeless, careless, suicidal, that is very strong sign of evil eye. When you go to toilet a lot for we and you are not, you don't have diabetic, so that is to do with evil eye whatever you want to do you cannot do it and you feel i cannot do it that is to do with the evil eye number two magic when you come here especially with the sisters when you come here you lose a lot you will have a pain in your shoulder lower back your belly get bloated you will have a bruises you will have scratch mark when you are outside, you feel happy, relaxed. When you come home, you don't feel relaxed. That is to do with magic. You fight with your wife, with her husband for no reason. For small things, you uh, spark. The belly get bloated. The body smell. Even you have shower now. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. The smell come again. The breath smell. That is to do with magic. You will have a spots, bruises. Okay, whatever your wife does for you, you don't appreciate. Whatever you do for her, she doesn't appreciate. 
When you are away, when she is away, you, meet, you miss each other. But when you come close, you hate each other. That is to do with magic. The jinn possession, you will see the bed, the dreams, snakes, scorpions, dog, animals. When you sleep, you feel you are going to fall from height. You must see dogs, snakes, scorpions. You feel lazy of doing ibadah. You might probably even stop doing ibadah. You feel distance from your family. You scare for no reason. Sometimes you have panic attack. That's all, inshallah, to do with the jinn. Okay? Jazakumullah khair. Um, a real question it says, if you know someone who has done magic on you, what can you do to that person in return in the Sharia? In the Sharia, mashallah, tabarakallah, there is, we, we, we live in, a, in, in, in the country where there is no Sharia law. We live in, in a non-Islamic country. Even if you live even in the Muslim land, they are not ruling according to Sharia, only probably one or two, three countries. And even these three countries, there is some Sharia, but there is no Sharia on the other hand. If you know the person, just gently and kindly say, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, you are going to meet Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا يُفْلِحُ السَّاحِرُ حَيْثُ أَتَى And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, مَنْ ذَهَبَ إِلَىٰ عَرَّافٍ وَصَدَّقَهُ بِمَا يَقُولْ فَإِنَّهُ قَدْ كَفَرَ بِمَا أَنزَلَ عَلَىٰ مُحَمَّدٍ he who go to magician and believe him, he come out of Islam. He become kafir. Be careful, my brother. Kafir, practically, not kafir i'tiqadi. Not from heart. You know, when you, do nam when you don't do namaz, you are kafir. Kafir, practically. But inside your heart, if you are lazy, and you say, you know, I can't do it. MashaAllah, Allah didn't give me He diet. You are a kafir practically. But if you said, excuse me, forget about these jambas. This is a joke. We are in 2012, 11, 12. No, forget about This is kafir amali and i'tiqadi. This guy is kafir. He's making mock of Allah's deen. So, and the one who go to magician and just... Ask him any curiosity. Your prayer or the prayer will be not accepted for 40 days. You have to do namaz, you have to do that prayer, but you are not going to get sawab. <coughs> but you have to do it because you went to the magician. Yes, Sahib. Yes, Sahib. Yes, Sahib. Yes, Sahib. Yes, Sahib. الله أكبر. الله أكبر هذا كفر. ولا هذه حافظنا إحنا الآية. ما تحفظها أنا هيب عن سهل لكن ما استطيع. الله أكبر ما عليش إن شاء الله جزاك الله is very dangerous ما شاء الله. ما تقرأها بالمقلوب. بارك الله فيك. الشيل الشيل الثاني السحر اللي يقولك إنسان اللي بيسحر الناس. نعم. يقولك هذه أسرة تسحر الناس هل السحر هذا لا الساحر يعلم أولاده السحر ليس وراثي لكن الساحر يعطي لأبنائه السحر وهذا يصبح وراثي جوب كاربنتا يجيب هيسان أي نعم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله is very good question look ما شاء الله I like, mashallah, people who come and speak about the bad experience. Mashallah, this brother here, back home, they used to teach them, or somebody told them, that um, there is one treatment or one method, if you do it, it will cure all the illness including remove the jinn. You know what is this? 
تريد سورة الفاتحة from the, the left to the right that why I have قل هو الله أحد I didn't bring the, the, the تعويز it's written الله يلد هو واحد how that ta'wiz was I didn't bring uh, uh, I didn't bring it today with me but inshallah you will see it inshallah in the future you will see it on the on the YouTube so jazakallah khair look how they deceive people yani baddalu kalam Allah they change the word of Allah ta'ala okay did I answer hal ajabtak ala su'al barakallah and he said sorry um وراثي يعني الرجل الساحر هل يورث السحر نعم he said the man the magician can his family or he can they be inherited نعم inherit because he's is bad and the jinn help his family is is mashallah to be all ساحر أن يورث نعم لأن هذا ظلم فإتس إيزي يعني سهل أنه يورث والشيطان يعينهم على على الكفر وعلى الشرك وأكبر كفر أكبر شرك بعد القتل النفس السحر and the major sin after killing is the magic جزاكم الله خير and thank you بارك الله فيك Another day in London, people busy going to and from work, busy with their daily activities, oblivious to another world that exists around them, the world of the ghaib, the unseen, until it affects them. But when it does, many people turn to this man, Abu Muhammad, an experienced Islamic rookie, specializing in Islamic exorcism. <laughs> الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا للصلاة حيا للصلاة حيا للفلاح حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم 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 أعوذ بالله السميع بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفحون 
إن الذين كفروا إن الذين كفروا وماتوا وهم كفار أولئك على إن الذين الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم 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 لا تأخذه شنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه What's your name? Rifi. How long have you been in this body? Five years. Five years. Who sent you to this body? Ghaffar. Who is Ghaffar? Him. Who is him? I don't know. Who is him? Uh, who is Ghaffar? Who is that man? What he does, this man? Nasty man. Nasty man. What he does? Huh? What he does? You may, is he a magician? No. Ah, he's a magician. Is he Muslim? No. He's not Muslim. No. But his name is Rafa. Yes. What he does? Does he, he worship statues? Yeah. Huh? Yes. How, what he does? What he does? Does he do haram things? What he does? Huh? He sacrifice. What he does? Can you explain what he does? He slaughtered something. What he does? And then? Huh? What do you mean? He eat it. He eat the animal. He drink. What he drink? The red stuff. The blood. Why? Because he needs to do it. He needs to do it. Yeah. Why he sent you to this body? Because this man, he said he's no good. Huh? He said this man was no good. Why he's no good? Because he is kafir. Huh? He says he is kafir. And do you think this man is kafir? No. No, mashallah. How do you think about this man? Good. Good. Why you are harming him? Because of him. Huh? Because of him? Yes. What, why, what mission? What mission you come with? Destroy. Is it you who caused the problem for his daughter as well? Yes. Huh? And his wife as well. Yes. Ah. Don't you repent to Allah? Don't you fear Allah? Do you want to go to Jahannam? No. Do you want to go to hell? Yes. You want no. To... No. You don't want to go to hell. No. So stop doing harm. Ah. Fear Allah. Are you Muslim or not Muslim? No. Fear. You are kafir. Yeah. Who created you? Allah. Ah. Who created you? Ah. Who created you? Huh? Allah. So you believe in Allah then? Huh? Have you been to Mecca with this man? Uh, why you don't want me to hit? Leave you, leave you. Why you want me to mention Mecca? Uh, why not? Why not? It's not safe, it's not safe for you when you stand before Allah. How about Yom Al Qiyamah, Ya Iyon Jinni? How about Yom Al Qiyamah? How about when you die and you stand before Allah Ta'ala uh, and He will send you to Jahannam? Hal Khalidina Fiha. Huh? Speak. What? Huh? Are you ready for hell? Are you ready to go to Jahannam? So if not, why don't you fear Allah? Why don't you embrace Islam? Why don't you leave this body? Huh? Because... Yes, because what? Huh? Because what? Huh? You don't want to. So, inshallah, you will go to Jahannam. No. You will, because you don't want to. No. So, you will go to Jahannam. No. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
والصافات صفا فالزاجرات زجرا فالتاليات ذكرا إن إلهكم لواحد رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما ورب المشارق الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله نعم معكم السلام ورحمة الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله What's your name? What's my What's my What's my What's my What's my What's my Who sent you to this body? Huh? Who sent you to this body? Huh? يلا Sit Sit أقعد أقعد Sit 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 Huh? Huh? Why you are here? Why you are here? Why you are here in this body? Huh? They told you to come here. Yeah. What's your mission? Mm -hmm. How many of you in this body? Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me. How many of you inside? Mm -hmm. How many of you in this body? Okay, you, what are you in this body? You. Yalla. Put your feet down. Down. Down, Isha. Put your feet down. Hot crack. Hot crack. Hot. Isha. Okhruj bi idnina. Okhruj. Leave by the will of Allah Ta'ala. Leave. From here. Leave by the will. Why? Why? Because it's haram to be here. Leave, inshallah. Leave, leave, inshallah. Leave, leave, inshallah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be the one who is 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 the one who
انما صنعوا كيد ساحر كيد ساحر انما صنعوا 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 كيد ساحر كيد ساحر كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر انما صنعوا كيد ساحر كيد ساحر كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث اتى ولا يفلح الساحر حيث اتى ولا يفلح الساحر حيث اتى انما صنعوا كيد ساحر لوك Allah created you for a purpose. And this man, he hasn't done anything to you. He didn't harm you, yes? No. So why you are harming him for? She wanted and he wanted. Listen to me. Don't raise your voice on me. Yeah, they wanted. No, That's what I'm doing. No, you have to obey the one who created you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These people are enemy of God. This man, he hasn't done anything to you, yes? Yes. So why you do this to him? Yes, and me. Don't obey them. Obey Allah. Obey your creator. Roshi. Yeah. Fear God Almighty. He created you and created me, created us for but purpose. I wanted to kill him. Look, but you, you yes. have no you, you have no problem with him. Yes? I don't have. MashaAllah. So don't obey them. Embrace Islam. Fear Allah, you will be safe in this life. And you will be in the hereafter you will be safe. Do you want to die and you go to hell? Embrace Islam. Huh? You will be safe in this life and the hereafter. If you don't want to embrace Islam, that's up to you. But I want you to leave this body by the will of Allah. What about the magic? Magic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will dissolve. Where is the magic? At the back. At the back, it will be dissolved by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, genie, yeah. just fear Allah and embrace Islam. Yeah. And you will be safe. Allah! How do you feel now, brother? How do you feel now? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Still the heat? No. The heat is gone. How do you feel? I feel very well. Still is gone? No. It's gone? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. You don't feel pain? No. MashaAllah. Assalamu alaikum. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Allahumma alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. My brother. Yeah? You still have towers in your neck. I am disappointed. You know why I'm holding this one? She's my mother. Who gave it to me? She's like my mother. I don't know if you say I will take it off. I don't, I don't know. Put it at home. Okay. And don't don't put it. Okay. My brother, now yeah. your mom, what we are talking, yeah. if I open it inshallah, yeah. if you allow me, yeah. I will open it. You will see what is going to be. It was is going to be inside. Okay. My, my brother, look, all this. Look, look, all these towels. I took it from people. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Open it. Bismillah, ya Rab. With my respect, inshallah, yeah. to your mom and Allah subhanahu wa taala, give her. Bismillah. Give her, inshallah. this is Tawis. There is nothing, my brother. May Allah be uh, m uh, uh, merciful with your mom, but there is nothing. Okay. This is a new thing that is protect you, my brother. Look, let me let me try uh, to 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 find anything. There is nothing at all. See, my sister, if there is anything. There is no writing. There is no. There is not even Bismillah. There is nothing at all. Had supposed to be supposed to be this number 
uh, five, seven, whatever. This is, they call it Bismillah, but the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he didn't write, uh, or he, no, uh, no, any, no Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no Sahaba, no recognize this as Bismillah. My brother, look, there is no, even a single harf, not even one letter. Look, Alhamdulillah, I open it. If I ask the jinn, you know, one, one day with one patient like this, I ask him the jinn, he said, I play with. So, Alhamdulillah. So, this is also, all, uh, this is supposed to be Al-Quran. Huh? Show how p people, they don't respect Quran. Look. And then they give it to... Tell me the truth, my brother. You go to the toilet with this one, yes? You cannot take it each time when you go to the toilet. Sometimes yeah, so, yeah. you yeah. go to the toilet. Yeah. No problem. So the one who give you this, a pierce up or blah, 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 he never tell you not to go with it. Yeah. So th these people, which means they don't respect Quran. Mm. If I give you something like, like this, at least I tell you, my brother, be careful, don't go to the to toilet with this one. Abu Muhammad now shows us some of the taweezes he's collected from his patients when he's performed ruqya on them. Some of them may shock you. When you read it, is Alhamdulillah, is, uh, is ayah from the Quran, ayat from the Quran. Okay. Okay. If you see, okay. If you look, uh, to this, to this, if you look to this Taweez, huh? Yep. It's a joke. Look, it's, a, it's from the calendar, but what is written here? Kullu am wa antu Happy New Year. Okay. This is also supposed to be, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be Taweez. Okay. Uh, this is a symbol. This is a symbol of Shaitan. And uh, this squares is is a uh, 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 a code. No, these numbers and uh, is only the magician who knows uh, what is it. And uh, I have one here. I have one here. If you allow me, look. When you see, look how they deceive you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Musta'an, Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad. We shouldn't call Ya Muhammad, we call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Abu Bakr, Ya Umar, Ya Uthman, Ya Ali, Ya Hussein. Then Ya Yahya, I don't know what they meant by Ya Yahya or Yahya. Ya Halim, Ya Allah. ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. Now, now you find this شرك شامة الفرداني شامة الفرداني يوسف الصديق عبد الرؤوف اليماني. Now they are just words. عبد الرؤوف اليماني إمام العارفين. The Imam of the Knowers. Imam al-Haq, Imam the Truth, Lisan al-Mutakallimin, Aoun al-Sakhawi. This is subhanAllah al I don't know what they meant with it. The artifacts that Abu Muhammad has shown us has indeed highlighted the dangers of using a taweez. This depiction of Satan was in, found inside a taweez, indeed food for thought, and we seek refuge in Allah from such evil.